Hey guys, quick video of a 1968 Yamaha YM1 uh, two-stroke twin. Um, was delivered here by a customer from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, this bike was owned by this gentleman's father who had uh, passed on. And uh, as I'm finding, these bikes uh, that were owned by uh, by someone's father, they are impossible to get rid of. You just can't let it go, which I could understand. Um, but anyway, it had sat for quite a while. And uh, believe it or not, it was preserved quite well with a layer of grease, oil, dirt, whatever was accumulated on this, including mice in the intake and you know, all, all sorts of other uh, ailments. Um, but cleaned it up, went through the front wheel bearings, went through the rear wheel bearings, polished up a bunch of pieces, uh, pulled the engine, redid the, uh, the seals, gaskets. Um, actually, it's on the third set of carbs, I believe, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, repainted the side covers, as you can see. Uh, refinished the exhaust. The exhaust on these bikes is supposed to be chrome, but if you are lucky enough to find an exhaust set for these in good original condition, you are going to pay through the roof. So what we elected to do was take the existing chrome pipes, which had a lot of damage. They're dented and, and dinged in a lot of places. You know, scuff up the chrome and remove the chrome as much as possible and paint them black. Um, as anyone who can tell you um, in the fashion world or maybe you've learned for yourself that black will hide a lot of defects which if you're looking at it from here you really can't even see that they have the dents and dings in them until you get really close same with this one um, but if I get in here real close you can see that there are dimples and just like I said imperfections but again from back here barely noticeable so again I mean this is the original paint uh, I didn't have to do anything except polish it out which it still has a really nice shine to it which uh, for as old as it is it's pretty surprising um, removed a lot of rust off the bike um, trying to think what else it did um, obviously new tires tubes whatever um, but other than that I mean it, it runs well I literally just got done with about a 30 mile loop um, to give it one last trip before sending it on its way. Um, and as, as I mentioned earlier, the carbs. If you have one of these bikes or a similar bike from this era from Yamaha, they put plastic sleeves inside uh, on the cylinder side of these carbs. And I don't have the one, uh, shoot, I wanted to pull the one out to show you. But there, like I said, there's a plastic sleeve in here that Again, over the course of 40, 50 years and heat cycles, cool cycles and whatnot, eventually that is just gonna give up the ghost. And that appears to be what happened with this. I was literally taking the last ride on this bike before giving it back. And all of a sudden the bike was making a horrendous screeching sound. I lost power, uh, it would die. Um, and it literally sounded like the main bearing and the crank was going because it had a screech uh, similar to if you took a balloon blew it up and then took the end and pulled the end apart and it makes that sound like that is what it sounded like and it it sounded disastrous and it, it it certainly sounded metallic but just just through luck um, I actually brought in a couple friends of mine who are good with motors and you know, because I was trying to figure this out and make sure that it wasn't anything that I was missing prior to tearing this engine down and having the crank rebuilt. Um, they just happened to, as we were squirting around, you know, with some WD-40, trying to find if there was a leak or anything somewhere, just somewhere on the very inside part that you can't even see, uh, we managed to get some, some fluid in there and it, it, it changed the idle, which anybody who knows if you get an idle change, uh, when you're squirting fluid around it's obviously you have a leak so just again it was just by chance it was literally the next day i was going to tear it apart and have it have it redone um, so got us another set of carbs off of ebay um, put those on they lasted for about two three days and then the same squeak uh, happened but it was the other side so i ended up swapping i think this these carbs have parts from about Every set that I bought, including the original, there's parts from on the, on these carbs, and these are finally working. Um, so who knows 
how long they will last. But as of now, they are good. Um, other than that, it's just a fun little bike. I, I kind of equate this to uh, an old school uh, SV650 or something where it's just fun as heck to throw around the turns. So light and nimble. Um, brakes <laughs> leave a lot to be desired, but you know, that's to be expected. But it's still really fun to ride. Uh, and of course the two stroke uh, has a lot of flair to it. So um, I will, like I said, I've had it running, so it should kick over real easy. Um, it has always started real easy, even when cold, so. used to put a clear plastic coating around the, the white portion of their seats I'm assuming uh, because they were getting too dirty but over the course of again 40 50 years these things that they got all yellow and they look nasty kind of like a clear coat they put on aluminum and so what we did was we just cut that off right along the edge and uh, it revealed the perfectly pristine white underneath so that worked out to our favor but you can see here just from me riding it that it you know it does get dirty so that's probably why they did it in the first place but anyway like i said just wanted to make a quick video and show you this thing because it uh it is fun and it's another one i would love to keep but you know it's got to go back where it belongs so anyway stay tuned i got a video of a 75 ts125 coming up here soon so i will see you soon thanks bye